गुड इवनिंग व्यूअर वेलकम टू आवर ग्लोरी ग्लोब टीवी वी अर्थ ब्रेकिंग न्यूज यस इट कॉस्ट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड यूरो इक्वेल टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड पाउंड फॉर द होल पैकेज वी आर टोल्ड फॉर दैट वी वुड बी गिवेन एन इन फ्लैटेबल बींग घाई विथ एन आउट वोट मोटोर एंड सिक्सटी लाइफ जैकेट टू गेट अक्रॉस द इंग्लिश चैनल This is the good price offered by two small boat smugglers to an undercover BBC journalist in Assin, a western German city where many migrants live or pass through. A five month long BBC investigation has exposed the significant German connections to the lethal human smuggling trade across the English Channel. As the new eco government promises to smash the gangs, Germany has become a central Location for the storage of boats and engines eventually used in channel crossings, confirmed to the BBC by Britain's National Crime Agency. During covert filming, smugglers revealed to us that they store boats in multiply secret warehouses as they play cat and mouse games with German police. This year is already the deadliest for migrant channel crossings, even. Figures show while more than 28,000 people have so far made the journey in small, dangerously packed boats. Our undercover reporter is waiting outside the central station in the city of Essen. That is BBC reporter. He is wearing a secret camera and posing as a Middle Eastern migrant, eager to cross the channel to the UK with his family and friend. He must remain. an omas for his safety but we will refer to him as hamza he approaches a man it is someone hamza has been in touch with for months via whatsapp calls after getting his number through a contact within the migrant community but this is the first time they have met this man's name or at least the name he has given us is abu sahar Since Hamza contacted him, they have discussed how Sahar can help provide a dinghai to get to the south coast of England. Hamza has told him that bad experiences with the smuggling gangs in the Kalis region have driven him, his family, and friends to try to manage their crossing along an unusual stay. Sahar has already sent a video of an inflated. Dinghe, which he has suggested, is a new available and being kept in a warehouse in the Essen area. He will go on to supply more footage, including other similar-looking boats as well as outboard engines being fired up. Hamza said he wants to check the quality of the items on offer himself, and that is why he has insisted on an in-person meeting. A BBC team is nearby monitoring Hamza's movements in case anything goes wrong or we need to extract him quickly. As the two men walk through the center of Essen, Sahar declares is to to Rixi to go to the warehouse to see the boat even though he says it is less than 15 minutes drive away. When Hamza asks about why the boats are kept in these parts of Germany, Sahar talks about safety and logistics amazing bn the exclusive report glory globe to be delhi bharat